Hi everyone, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm going to be using a full box sheet which was from Leah Planner Pretties. It's really pretty, it's got foiled overlay on and yeah I've had a really crappy weekend so I just wanted something that would cheer me up so I decided to go with those. I've also pulled in these foiled overlays by Lily Blossom Designs because sparkle makes me happy. Um, and I'm going to be using my colourful pop it date covers just to add a little bit more colour into the spread and then lastly I'm using the Simply Gilded Washi, the one in the middle with all of the colours and it's got some silver foil on. I know there's a weird clicking sound, I, I don't know how to stop it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll have to see if I can get a new microphone, I think it's that, I'm not sure, I've tried everything. So we're going to carry on and just try your best to ignore the clicking. So this week I decided to use my mood trackers along the bottom. It ripped, like I said, I'm not having the best weekend, but I'm just gonna replace it, it's fine. We'll cover it up with washi and nobody will know. I've decided to track my mood this week because I know I'm gonna be back at work soon because my fellow's going to be finishing as everything is opening up in April. Slightly nervous about it because I've been working constantly every day in my shop, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna juggle everything. Um, so I want to try and set myself a kind of a schedule this week so I just want to track my mood to make sure I'm not over doing things. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I think I'm just worrying about nothing. Um, so I've put the mood trackers along the bottom and then I'm putting the Simply Gilded washi underneath there and I'm just using my um, little knife just to cut it because it, it wasn't ripping straight so yeah now we're caught up. Now I'm going to put in the date covers down and like I said, I just decided to use these because they're kind of colourful, but not bright coloured. They're kind of pastel-y, so they go well with the kit and just add a little bit more colour. I am going to go and find some date covers. I can't remember if I showed you where I got them from. And I'm also trying to think where I got them from. I have a feeling they're from Elizabeth Plans. Oh no, they're from here. <laughs> Which is the Little Thought Store had to bend down to read that um yeah I just grabbed those to put on there sometimes I don't even put date dots down because either a I forget or b I can't be bothered and I know what week I'm on <laughs> I'm just lazy but I've decided to put those all the way along the top they kind of blend in so it's nice my planner hasn't arrived yet I oh it's been such a session so I've had to try and get my money back because this person just isn't answering my messages anymore and it's a bit of a nightmare. So um, I've ordered an, another planner. <laughs> oh, my, my chair squeaky. I've decided to go with a Simply Gilded B6, so that is on its way now. And then we just won't speak of the other planner because it's not going to arrive ever. And I don't even know if my money is going to come back. Um, anyway, getting back to what I'm doing. So for Monday, I just put Hello Monday and the little... Princess Poppet is from my Prince and Princess Poppet sheet. I've put down that my son is going to college this week. My younger son gets the bus at seven and then my daughter is at work and she's actually getting a lift this week. So I used a little car logo from Handmade Hayward. And then here I'm just putting down a half box. I thought I'd use these ones from Paper Shire, but I wanted to add a little bit more sparkle. So these foil overlays are from Lily Blossom Designs. The half boxes are from Papershire and then the little bunny on the laptop is from the Happy Seeds of Star Shop. I've put down my full box to make sure that I left myself enough room. I'm working on a custom project on Monday. It's for a business that contacted me so I wanted to make sure that I blocked off some time for that on Monday. And then hopping over to Tuesday I'm going to be using my new release that came out yesterday or Saturday. <laughs> um, there were four new releases. There was um, tea and coffee part two and then there's also the kind of takeaway coffees or hot drinks from Costa and Starbucks. So I've decided to use one of the foiled overlay as kind of like a background behind my new tea sticker. <laughs> I don't know why I said that so weird. Um, they were so inspired by my new bear glass mug. If you follow me on TikTok or on Instagram you would have seen my new really cute adorable mug that I use literally every day so they were really um, inspired by that 
Um, my son needs to do a COVID test and they've moved to doing COVID tests at home now. So we have a stack here and he has certain days that he has to do it on. Then I need to make sure that I go and put petrol in the car and the petrol sticker is from Strawberry Line Designs. I put my full box down and then I've got some orders that I need to do on Monday, uh, on Tuesday, sorry, to catch up for not doing them on Monday. So the little foiled bow sticker here, I went foil crazy this week. Um, that's from Lucinda Charlotte Designs. And then I've put down a poppet from the post and deliver sheet for me to go and pack orders. And then lastly, the foiled printer sticker is from Legally Planning. Like I said, I am trying to get back into a routine in case I do go back to work within the next week or so. So I am going to be kind of printing and cutting stock throughout the week so that way I don't have a day where I've run out of stickers and I can't pack someone's orders because obviously I'm at work all day. So I'm going to be cutting or trying to print and cut at least 20 sheets every day this week um, so that way I know I'm good to go. Uh, for Wednesday I started with a full box up at the top. I put another half box down from Paper Shire and the little desk sticker is from My Little Puffy. And then underneath there I've put another one of the foiled overlays and then I've put one of my own YouTube playlist stickers because I've got um, this tiny little planner. If you follow me on Instagram you've seen it because I've posted a picture and when I say a small planner I mean tiny planner. And I've decided just to create a colour planner with it so it's kind of every page is set on a colour. And I think I'm going to upload maybe a weekly video of just me doing that planner. It sounds bizarre, just wait till Wednesday and then you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. Maybe I'll make it like a silent planning because I've really been into those lately, especially running my shop during lockdown. Obviously it's kind of lonely because it's just me, even not in lockdown, even when you're running your own shop, you're lonely because it's literally just you. So I've been really into watching silent planning videos. I know, um, whoops I did it again does silent planning videos I'll link her uh, channel down below she does other videos as well she's actually amazing and she is so organized she's definitely worth a check out if you haven't watched her channel also um, there's another channel it's kind of a Chinese channel I think it's called Cha Cha Note I'll also leave her um, link down below as well she does all of it is silent I don't think she's ever spoken I could be wrong she's amazing as well so I've really been into those because it's something that I can have on the background while I'm doing my own work and it kind of feels like somebody else is in the room working with me. I don't know, it's strange. Anyway, um, where are we? Thursday. Thursday I have put down a Coffee First sticker which is one of my new Coffee Part 2 poppets, a half box from Paper Shire and this is just to mark down that I need to do my shop taxes and my paperwork because we're going into April where it all starts again so I'm to make sure everything is ready for April and I've put a headache pop it down because taxes just equals headaches with me I don't like it <laughs> then I'm creating my kind of to do section so the pop it at the top is from the home life sheet which is for me just to do some housework the laundry pop it is also from the home life sheet although you can get these separate you can get a sheet of just these uh, laundry ones the um, next pop it down is from the feeling sheet for me to do some orders and then again I'm going to be printing and cutting at least 20 sheets so I've used another foil printer sticker from Legally Planning. I put my full box down with another foil overlay and then I wanted to put my bin icon down but I couldn't remember which colour it was but it's black so good job I looked back. For Friday I've used another one of the Lucinda Charlotte Designs foiled bow stickers for me to finish the new release that will be coming out on Saturday and underneath there I've put another foiled overlay header and then I've got some more things that I need to order for my shop because we're coming near the end of the month that everything seems to be running out so I've just put down um, a text and I think I just done these for me I don't think I have them in the shop and then I'm just putting down a random checklist I have no idea where this is from um, for me just to write down what I need I've put my full box down and then I decided to use Oh, this full box, mm, it wouldn't go down. And every time I unstuck it and stuck it down, it was literally in the same place. So I don't even know why I bothered. But we get there eventually. Still in the same place, but that'll do. 
put down a foiled header and then another half box from Paper Shire. I decided to use one of the large poppets from the food sheet for me to do my food shop. And then the bullet journal or the planner sticker is from the Ginger Cat Co and that's for me to update my bullet journal. I forgot it was payday so I quickly wanted to put this in somewhere and I couldn't find it so I decided to put it over the word love so now it says payday brings many things because apparently I'm a comedian. And then moving on to the weekend I just put the two foiled headers on Saturday and Sunday and then put the full boxes down. My cat has decided to come and sit on my desk so if you hear random purring I promise you it's not me. Um, after I've put my full boxes down I'm going to carry on with Saturday so I need to make sure I've finished any outstanding orders. So I've actually used a poppet from the reading sheet just to mark that and then I will want to walk and make sure I go to the post office and have a walk at the same time. So I've just used one of my poppet scarf stickers and then underneath there I'm going to be putting down another foiled overlay. And then I have housework to do on a Saturday to make sure I've reset ready for Monday. So I've put another pop it down from the home life sheet. And then I just wanted to mark for me to restock the shop. So I decided to flip one of the boxes on its side. It's just, it's something I always do. I don't know why. I think it just makes it look a little bit different other than another half box. So I've put two foiled overlays behind it. And then I've just written restock shop because hopefully I would have printed and cut two, four, six, eight, a hundred sheets that I'll be able to put away. And then moving on to Sunday, obviously I want to film next week's plan with me. So I've used another planner from the Ginger Cat Co. And I've used a PC poppet for me to edit. Oh, I'm just, I'm sticking. I'm not writing. There we go. <laughs> the, um, PC poppet is for me to edit the video and then the poppet from the feeding sheet kind of looks like he's shouting which seems to be me when I'm doing my voiceover and then I've put a time for tea with one of my new tea stickers and then here I was going to start doing the kind of back to school thing and then I realised next week they're actually on half term so instead of that I've just put down empty bags because in two weeks I will thank myself that I have marked that down. I forgot to put down for my new release so I've quickly hopped back over to Saturday to put that down and then going back to Sunday I want to have an early night even though they're not at school I definitely need an early night on a Sunday it's just kind of a routine I go to bed early and I watch Gilmore Girls so I've put a foiled header down underneath there just to fill up that white space and then we'll be moving on to the sidebar when I catch up I spoke too quick anytime now there we go. <laughs> um, at the top here I've put down the last full box that I had and then I wanted to create a next week section. I haven't put a next week section in my sidebar for quite a while so I decided to grab a header which was from the plush papery as the colours kind of went nicely with the kit and then I put a foiled overlay on top and then one of these header stickers which was from the Ginger Cat Co. I decided to use one of my poppet checklists in the sidebar to write everything down and then I've gone back to my habit tracker and then put some foiled overlays on top. It kind of went a bit crooked so I've moved my foil overlay crooked. It kind of balances it out. I only had one half box left so I decided just to use that to fill the space. I was going to put this floral poppet in there but he was way too big so he's just going to go up at the top. And that was it for this week's bread. Here's a little shimmer, 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 so shimmery. It's actually cheered me up, which is exactly what I needed. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video this week. If you did, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. I hope you are having an amazing day so far, and I will speak to you all next time. Bye, guys.